Welcome to More on Carrier Ethernet from the MEF. I'm Scott Mansfield, MEF board member and editor of MEF 35. MEF 35 is the Service OAM Performance Monitoring Implementation Agreement. OAM is Operations Administration and Maintenance in the, in the management area. And SOAM applies to using OAM as it applies to the MEF defined services. Part of the MEF service lifecycle is performance management. And what you can do is after provisioning a service and turning up the circuit and then testing it with some other MEF tools like service activation test, it then goes into a mode where you're doing performance management. And in performance management, we're doing loss measurement and delay measurement. And if something turns up as being incorrect, then it can go and feed into fault management, which is covered in a different presentation. In order to collect the performance monitoring tools into something that's easily understood, we've created something called PM Solutions. And so these solutions are based on tools that, that come from Y.1731 from the ITU. And specifically, the tools are categorized into loss tools and delay tools. I'll get into the specifics later. First, I want to talk a little bit about how the tools can be run. And that is the tools can be run on service traffic or they can be run on synthetic traffic. And synthetic traffic is generated traffic that is injected into the stream and the measurement is estimated based on the synthetic traffic. As far as configuration options go, you have two main configuration options, and that is you can have uh, tools that are single-ended, and that is where an originating switch will create traffic that is then sent to the far end, and then the far end reflects that back, and the measurement is taken at the original switch. The dual-ended way is a, you have a switch that generates traffic, sends it to a far end, and the far end does the, does the measurement calculation. So specifically, loss tools. There are two main loss tools. We have frame loss ratio and availability. Frame loss ratio, you either measure the loss of service frames or you measure the, loss, the synthetic loss. In availability, it uses frame loss ratio to determine if there are high numbers of consecutive lost frames which would indicate that the service is not available. From a delay tool perspective, there are many tools. There's frame delay, which is how long it takes for a frame to go from the ingress uni, which is the where the traffic comes in, to the egress uni. Frame delay range is a similar type of measurement, only it is it, over a period of time it tells you how different the, the shortest delay was from the largest delay. Interframe delay variation provides you with a measurement of how different it is between two different frames. And mean frame delay is just the average over a, a measurement period. So now we come up to what are PM solutions. The, there are three PM solutions defined in MEF 35. The first PM solution is the mandatory solution. And it, is the, it uses synthetic testing, and it does single-ended delay and uh, single-ended synthetic loss. Those are the two tools that are, that are mandatory in MEF 35. And then we have a couple of optional tools. One optional tool does a dual-ended delay measurement, and the other optional tool does the uh, counting of service frames. So it, it is not required in order to support uh, performance monitoring that you count service frames, but there is an optional solution that'll, that shows you how to do it. The evolution of MEF 35 continues, and it is currently being enhanced with uh, some new tools, one for threshold crossing alerts, and another one that supports dual-ended synthetic loss. So I hope you found this video useful. This has been Scott Mansfield from Ericsson on behalf of the MEF, and you can find more at MetroEthernetForum.org.